Movies make success look easy, but in real life it's way harder. However, there's a five-hour rule used by the most successful people in the world, and many of them credit it with at least some of their successes. Here's the truth behind the five-hour rule. Everyone has a big goal they dream of achieving, whether it's becoming a world-renowned tennis star or running for president of the United States. Plenty of people will tell you that the key to success is hard work, but what about the people who work hard yet never quite reach their goals? According to Entrepreneur Magazine, one important factor in success isn't just how hard you work, but how you choose to spend your spare time. While finishing an exhausting workday by melting into the couch and binge-watching Netflix is certainly understandable, it's definitely not productive. The five-hour rule encourages putting down the remote and spending your after-work hours diving into a good book. A five-year study by Thomas Corley found that entrepreneurs who came to prominence from average backgrounds usually had great reading habits. This led entrepreneur Michael Simmons to coin a philosophy he named the five-hour rule. One hour a day of concentrated reading, practice, or education practiced five days a week. Some of the world's most successful people swear by this concept, including Bill Gates, Oprah Winfrey, and Warren Buffett. And while the five-hour rule may sound simple, it's actually more complex than you'd think. According to Michael Simmons, the way entrepreneurial-minded individuals educate themselves can be sorted into three methods, or as Simmons calls them, buckets. Reading, reflection, and experimentation. The first bucket is reading, and don't even try to pretend like you don't have time to read. When's the last time you actually read this book, Oprah? <laughs> no, you didn't. If Oprah has time, you definitely do too. No matter how cluttered your calendar is, you've definitely got less on your plate than the President of the United States. According to the New York Times, former President Barack Obama is such a bookworm that he credits his reading habit with helping him survive those eight stressful years in the White House. He even wrote his own book during his presidency. Like we said, you have time. According to Inc. Magazine, readers not only tend to live longer than non-readers, but they're generally more creative and open-minded. Both of those qualities spur innovative thinking. Also, while snobs may look down on you for reading fiction, the Washington Post reports that one study found reading fiction improves a person's empathy and theory of mind. Since books force us to step into the shoes of others and understand why they make certain choices or act a specific way. To put it simply, reading makes us better people. Reflection is the second bucket of the five-hour rule. And while it's just as important as reading, it's not quite as easy. Spending an hour chewing on the memory of your latest embarrassing failure might not be the most fun way to spend a rainy Thursday night, but it is a key way to avoid future failures. Reflection leads to improvement, and improvement is necessary for success. As Harvard Business Review explains, an openness to self-reflection is what separates good leaders from bad leaders. Even if you're not the boss, one study showed that when employees in a call center consciously spent just 15 minutes a day for 10 consecutive days reflecting on any pros or cons from their completed shift, they performed an astonishing 23% better than those who didn't reflect. Don't be afraid to take a long, hard look in the mirror. Failure sucks. Whether it's a lost job, a scraped knee, or a terrible breakup, everybody's been there. Even Batman. Luckily, Alfred always knows just what to say. Why do we fall, sir? So that we can learn to pick ourselves up. Innovation only comes when people stick their necks out and try new things, which is why experimentation is considered the third and final bucket. As explained by Thomas Opong, entrepreneur and author of Launch and Disrupt, How 20 Disruptive Startups Made It to the Top, society thrives on change. That change comes from disruption, and that disruption is the result of risk-taking. Sometimes learning the hard way is the best way, so don't be afraid to take a chance. Maybe you'll fall down, or maybe you'll reach your wildest dreams. Chances are, you'll do both. The 5-Hour Rule is all about managing your habits. Never underestimate how much your seemingly innocuous habits of today impact your future dreams. Just as a good habit leads to other good habits, a bad habit is a gateway for, you guessed it, more bad habits. According to CNBC, this is called the transfer effect. For example, habitually spending your savings account when you feel sad might lead to you maxing out your credit cards once your savings run dry. However, a keystone habit like exercising could inspire you to form a habit of eating healthy foods. Negative keystone habits weigh down your future like a boulder around your neck, but positive keystone habits promise to open doors on your way to success. There's no such thing as a self-made anything, especially not a self-made billionaire. 
unless you consciously spawned as an embryonic form in the center of a black hole with no family and clawed your way out through sheer force of will, you're far from self-made. Real success is the product of teamwork, not prideful individualism. Every successful person on Earth has had some amount of help along the way, whether it was through a trusted mentor, a financial investment in their idea, older siblings to show them the ropes, or a wealthy mother who meticulously managed their career. We're looking at you, Kylie Jenner. Here's the list. Mom's not going to do all of this for you, so... That's self-made, so it's not like that was handed to her. She figured that all out. There's no arguing that Kylie Jenner is certainly business savvy, but as Teen Vogue notes, the fact that someone like Jenner gets hailed as self-made makes it pretty clear how fabricated the whole concept of being self-made really is. By all means, improve your life with the 5-hour rule, but when success comes knocking at your door, it's okay to drop the ego and admit you had help along the way. We did it. You and me. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more grunge videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.